good everyone and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to quickly show you guys how to load in a component in d5 and add it to your local library let's go okay so without wasting any time we're just going to import the model we want to save so we're just going to go over to this tab here and click on this import icon then we're just going to load in this tool then once this tool has completely loaded inside this imported tab over here, we just click on it and we place it in D5. So now the thing has been placed. To actually save it to your local library in D5, we're actually going to go to this object tab over here. Then we're going to see this tool we imported. Then we're just going to right click on it and we're going to click on this add to local here over here. Then once you click add to local, it will, be, it will show successfully added to the local library. Then if you want to place it, we are going to go to assets and we are going to local, going to local. So as you can see, you can see this tool is part of the local library now. So now we actually want to put it under a category. So we are just going to create a new category. To do that, we are just going to right click and click on new category. And we are going to go to this um, new category we just created and we are going to right click and rename it. And let's just name it category 1. Then we are just going to, now the category 1 have been created, we are going to go back to this tool in this library over here. We are going to right click and click on this move tool. And we are going to move it to this, select this category 1 we just created, click on it and click confirm. Now we are going to go to the category 1 and we are going to find our tool here and we can just click it and place it. So even if I close this project and I go back to welcome, let me just close this project, not save it, and create a new project. Then I, if I go to my asset library, I'll be able to see it in my asset library and place it anytime I want. So that is the end and that is how to place your, your external models from other softwares to place it to your local library in D5. So if the video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this, hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. Thank you and have a nice day.